G'day fans <laughs> and welcome to another exciting Wednesday night stuck at home isolation central uh, to uh, talk nerdy to me as I speak. Clearly people are stuck at home because they're signing in already. How good is that? Michelle is joining us. Absolutely fantastic. And it's uh, uh, going to be a very, very special show tonight with everybody. Five, five people already. We're less than two. Oh my God, they're rolling in like oranges. Anyway, so g'day, Carol from Ballarat, who's enjoying a bit of more freedom than we've got here in Melbourne. So g'day, Greg, as well. Um, tonight is a very, very special show, as they always are. And with me, of course, I'm with my two excellent lads, MPS and Jeffro. How are we tonight? Very good. Yeah, good, good. Um, all right, so we're going to move on. We're running a little bit behind time. We're actually going to be talking about the year 1963. We're going to try and whip through this as quick as we can. Uh, so MPS, uh, I'm going to shove it off with you, old son. All righty. So 1963, what do you think 1963 was? It was just another year, wasn't it? Well, let me tell you, there was it was not as exciting as, as say, the 80s, but certainly did have some um, uh, good good things to it. Uh, one, of the, one of the things that uh, Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa was exhibited in the US for the first time uh, at the National Gallery of Art in Washington. Uh, the Beatles recorded their debut album, Please Please Me, uh, in a, and and did that in a single day at Abbey Road Studios. Um, British statesman Sir Winston Churchill becomes an honorary honorary citizen of the US. Um, here's one for all you wrestling fans. Buddy Rogers became the first WWF champion. <laughs> Worldwide Web champion, yeah, right, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, the first diet cola drink was created, Tab, by the Coca-Cola Company. Don't know how they did that without the sugar, but I'm sure they, they figured it out. Um, in the 24-hour Le Mans race, the AC Cobra made its debut appearance uh, for that race and then went on to win it the year after. Uh, oh, geez, I, these names are always getting me. Valentina... Terra Skova was the first woman uh, into space. Uh, she was a Soviet cosmonaut, or cosmonaut S, if you will. Mm. Um, Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room opens at Disneyland, premiering its first audio animatronics in the park. Here's one that I didn't even think of, of when these were developed or whatever the case was. Zip codes were introduced into the US Postal Service. Okay. Imagine not having a postcode, sort of just, yeah. you know, send it to here and it ends up over there because it's the same stated place. Uh, Joe Walker, the test pilot, the American test pilot flying the X-15 reaches an altitude of 65.8 miles or 105.9 kilometres high, uh, making it a suborbital space flight uh, recognised uh, by international standards. Very good. Uh, I don't know if you'll cover this off, Jeffro, in more detail, but the great train robbery takes place in Buckinghamshire in England. Martin Luther King Jr. delivers his I Have a Dream speech to 250,000 people uh, in Washington. Lamborghini is founded in Italy in 1963. There you go. Nice, slink, slinky way of thinking about it. Well, they're making tractors at that point, but uh, yeah, continue yeah, on. Yeah. Slightly faster than the tractor. <laughs> um, Malcolm X makes his historic speech in Detroit, Michigan. Here's another one that you just, we didn't see this for many, many years later, I don't think. The first push button telephone was made available at AT&T uh, in the US. Uh, on Saturday news, the assassination of John F. Kennedy occurred in November of that year. Uh, and Wendell Scott becomes the first African-American driver to win the NASCAR race at Speedway Park. Hmm, there you go. Uh, <laughs> and a bit of a TV one, and this will be the one of the last ones. Um, Tony Werner, a CBS TV director, debuts an improvised version 
uh, of instant replay during his direction of a live telecast sporting event, a uh, college football game. Um, the instance is notable as it was the first instant replay system to use videotape instead of film. Hmm. Um, Chuck Yeager, for those who are into the aviation, again, he was a, a pilot and a test pilot, uh, narrowly escapes death while testing the NF-104A rocket augmented space trainer uh, when it goes out of control at 108,700 feet or nearly 21 miles up and he parachutes safety at 8,500 uh, 8, feet, which is something uh, the first person to do it in a full pressurized suit uh, for high altitudes. Uh, the iconic Porsche 911 is first produced. Marvel releases their superhero assembly team, the Avengers, and Harvey Ball invents the smiley face symbol. Mm. Very good. <laughs> Nicely done. You talk about the uh, Valentina, whatever her name was, the first lady in space, if you watched um, uh, For All Mankind. I wonder if that was the name of that character in that uh, episode as well, where she was the first woman on the moon. So there you go. All right, Jeffro, what have you got for us, old son? Yeah, well, I'm going to break out into a tune. We're all going on a summer holiday. So 1963 is the year that Cliff Richard busted out that song and busted out the movie. So, uh, um, and it's been a perennial ever since. Um, on the political side, I don't know if people remember um, uh, their Cold War history, but 63 was the year that UK spy Kim Philby defected to the Soviet Union. He was a, he was known as the third man. So there was about five different um, uh, traitors, for want of a better word, but he was the uh, the third. Uh, this is also the year that the lava lamp was uh, invented. So groovy, baby. Uh, now, an interesting little fact that I thought was interesting is that in April of 1963, a decision was made to construct nuclear submarines in the UK. 11 days later, 70,000 protesters stormed London to uh, demonstrate against nuclear weapons. So, you know, sort of, uh, they were very organised. And um, last but not least is the fact that uh, 1963 is the first year of Doctor Who. And in December of that year, it was the first Dalek story. So uh, that uh, major milestone is uh, one awesome reason to respect 1963. And the people born in this year, um, in no particular order, and I hope you sort of recognise some of those names, uh, James May, Andrew Ridgely and George Michael, Philip Gleisner, Alex Kingston, Doctor Who related, uh, David Fulis, Julian Lennon, Jason Isaacs. He doesn't look that old, but uh, uh, Fatboy Slim, Jarvis Cocker, Nicolette Sheridan, who I always thought was a, a, an American actress, but she's actually um, a UK actress, and she was in Desperate Housewives, if uh, nobody re recognises the name. Carolyn Ahern and uh, Dave McCann, the uh, the graphic artist, and myself. So that is uh, 1963. Yeah, I was wondering how long it would be before you chuck yourself in there. So well done, Pretty sir. Best last. All right, as you should, yes, uh, save it to the best. All right, so uh, 1963 sci-fi movies. All right, let's get straight into it. All right, so uh, there's, a whole, there's a whole army of them that came out, some good, some not so flash. First one that I've got is Voyage to the End of the Universe. With a name like that, how good could it possibly be? Uh, well, it was actually a Czechoslovakian film, which was originally called uh, Ikari XB1. And uh, so the uh, English took hold of it, redubbed it into English language, and away it goes. Uh, and apparently at the end of the film, they actually changed the ending for the English version, did the old trick ending, you know, where the ship lands back on Earth. Oh, what's the deal with that? Uh, which, of course, is not in the Czechoslovakian ending, which apparently was the better of the two. So uh, there you go. So people did actually say that the Czech version was actually very, very good, if you can uh, get your hands on that. Uh, another movie that came out was The Man with X-Ray Eyes, good old Ray Milan with black eyes. You can see through everything. It's all very, very, very freaky. Uh, made by Roger Corman. So that was actually a very, very popular film. And I remember seeing that myself, and that was very cool. So when he got the black eyes, is like, oh, that's kind of freaky, you know. These days, it's nothing, but back then, it was a bit of a big deal. 
One movie that came out, and I saw this as a bit of a joke, there was a movie called The Slime People. And the first thing I thought of was like, yeah, we're not talking about flat earthers here. So uh, anyway, let's just move on from this, shall we? Okay. So there was a Japanese movie that came out called Atragon. So the good old mm -hmm. Japanese were still pumping stuff out left, right, and center. Jeff, uh, Jeff Rowe probably knows about this one, which is actually yeah. kind of groovy. Uh, there was a movie that came out called The Day Mars Invaded Earth, otherwise known as Space Raid 63. Now, the day the Mars invaded Earth, not hard to work out what the story's about, eh? What's the story <laughs> about? Um, oh, maybe Mars invades Earth. Oh, I'll tell you what, you know, they, they could have thought of something a bit more original. At least they just stood still. You didn't know why it stood still. Whereas in this, you're like, okay, clearly we're going to be attacked by Martians. So uh, there you go. And um, there's just two more. Uh, I wanted to bring up the Mad Men of Ho uh, Mandorus. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, I've never heard of Mad Men of Mandorus, right? Well, as it turned out, it was filmed in 1963. Uh, and But it didn't get released until five years later when some UCLA students got hold of it, added 20 minutes of extra footage, right? And it got released as... They saved Hitler's brain. How good oh. is that? <laughs> there you go. So it's officially listed as a 1968 movie, but the man of um, uh, Mad Men of Mondurus, whatever it was called, uh, was actually produced in 1963. So how good is that? And, yes, don't be mistaken, don't be misled, it does have a 0% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. How good is that? <laughs> they saved Hitler's brain. That, that title alone is just worth having. And if you're interested and you're looking through 1963 movies and you see something called The Mouse on the Moon, uh, it's not actually a sci-fi movie at all. It's actually the sequel to The Mouse That Roared. So there you go. That was it. I had to get through this pretty quickly because we're almost about to run behind time. Um, if you two want to add anything, MPS, you got something? Yeah, i got a couple of other things, a couple more birthdays. Um, Terry Farrell, who was in uh, DS9. Yep. Uh, Ming Na Wen, who's in uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I think I say um, Ming the Merciless there for a second. Yeah. Uh, Ming the Merciless, no. Uh, Helen Hunt, because I love her the most. Uh, Johnny Depp, Mike Myers, Conan O'Brien, who's a big pop culture fan. Uh, Australian football royalty, if you will. You know, he's the Joker, I guess. Warwick Kappa, born in 1963. Um, Quentin Tarantino, Chase Masterson, uh, and Michael Jordan. Now, I've got a name here. I've got films in, that in a second, but I've got a name here which I don't know who it is, but I just thought it was a cool name. Rambo Amadeus. <laughs> Monte, Monte Green singer, songwriter. But Rambo, what a name. Before John Rambo, Rambo Amadeus. There you go for it. Shank out in one hand and a bat baton in the other hand. So there you yeah. go. Uh, other movies that came out that year very quickly Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Uh, I'm going to mix movies and TV together. Uh, General Hospital started running that year. Uh, Dr. No came out. Uh, Cleopatra, starring Elizabeth Taylor, Rex Harrison and Richard Burton. Uh, the second James Bond film that year was From Russia with Love. Uh, Doctor Who starts, as we mentioned, and uh, Disney, uh, Disney releases Sword in the Stone, which is its 18th feature-length film. Uh, the Great Escape, Jason the Argonauts, The Pink Panther, The Nutty Professor, Lord of the Flies, uh, and in TV, The Fugitive, The Outer Limits, and My Favourite Martian. Very good. I like when you mentioned Terry Farrell. Uh, Ange goes Dabo, which is a uh, yeah, very nice little in joke there. Very, very cool. All right. Uh, all right. So we'll leave you to it. And remember, see you next week for some Star Wars talking. And we will, uh, in, the, in, the in the interim, make sure you stay nerdy. Okay. All right.